news of an important discovery on distant Calamar elicits the reactions of space miners from every corner of the galaxy. Bluestone's been discovered on Calamar! In an effort to control the lawlessness, the International Space Authority sends an SET in to establish a permanent command post there. Deciding to shuttle down, Mora, Travis, and Buddy depart the mothership, Columbus, aboard a small craft. What do you see, Mora? What do you see? A group of men. Some of them look injured. They're, they're standing together near some caves. They're trying to get our attention. So why don't they turn on a light if they want us to see them? Only one way to answer that question, Buddy. I think you're right, Bill. We've got to land this bird. Upon setting the small craft down on the surface of Calamar, a turn of events would make it appear as though they might never get off the planet at all. Turn off your lights. The creatures are coming. The night riders, they've seen your lights. They're attracted by light. Buddy, listen. It's them. They're coming, I tell you. They're coming this way, all right. There must be several hundred of them. Several hundred what? Strange creatures. Reptilian, I think. Huge. They're riding on the backs of those animals I saw earlier. My God, I don't believe it. What is it? What is it? They don't have any eyes. They appear to be hopelessly stranded in darkness. Their shuttle has been torn to pieces by the Night Riders of Calamar. Indeed, a phantasm of consternation on alien worlds. As the charging hoofbeats of the night riders fade into the depths, Buddy, Mora, Travis, and the miners seek refuge in a Calamar cave. A lot of these men are hurt, Buddy. They need medical attention. The ISA fleet will be arriving any time. They'll have a hospital ship with them and plenty of medics. Well, I could sure use an aspirin. Oh, what's wrong, Travis? Oh, I just got a little headache. I'll be all right. Uh, look, uh, I'm going to go outside and get a breath of air. Could I use the infrared binoculars, Mora? Oh, sure. Here. Thanks. Hey, Travis. Yeah? Be careful. I'm always careful. Buddy, where are you? I'm right here. <gasps> Buddy, don't do that. Do what, my dear? I'm just standing here. You bumped into me. Well, it's too dark in here to just stand around. Do something. Whoa! Who's that? It's okay. I'm a prospector. What's your name? Robertson. Don Robertson. Did you, uh, find any glowstone? Sure did. Hit a strike about two weeks ago. You alone? Well, I am now. Had a partner till day before yesterday. He's dead now. What happened? Night Riders get him? Nope. He just fell over. Just like that. <sighs> well, what happened? I mean, what did he die from? I, I don't know. He, he was fine up till three or four days ago. Started complaining of headaches. Then he started getting dizzy and falling over things. Next thing I knew, he was laying dead on the ground. And I got overrun by those freaky lizards, busted up our ship, lost all the glowstone. Oh, I wish I'd never come here. Oh, who's that? Who is it? Oh, it's... Uh, it's only me. Travis, what happened? Well, I... I tripped. No big deal. It's not easy walking through this cave looking through these binoculars at the same time, you know. Hey, guess what I found outside? A poker game. Oh, nope. A shuttle truck. A land a shuttle? Truck. That's right. One of the miners must have abandoned it. It's a little banged up, but I think I can make it run. Run? Run where? Well, we could follow the night riders. What? Follow them where? Why? Because it's better than sitting around here in the dark. That's why. Wait! Maybe following him is a good idea. Boy, what is this mutiny? No, in fact, we should follow them. Well, look, don't you see? We need to study them, learn about them, find out why they're destroying the mining camp. Sounds like you're planning to tag along. Well, of course I am. I'm a scientist. I didn't come here to ignore the native life. I came to study it. All right. 
All right, I'll, I'll stay here and see what I can do for these people. You two go ahead. Uh, but try and be back before dawn, okay? Otherwise, you're liable to get a real mean tan, you know what I mean? Meanwhile, back aboard Columbus, John Graydon sits quietly in solitude. It's been nearly five hours. Where could they be? Something's happened, and I sit here doing nothing. Well, no more. I'll land this monster by myself. Carefully. See anything yet, Mora? Nothing but the tracks. But we're on the right trail. How you doing? Well, it's not the driving. It's not being able to see where I'm going. Don't worry about it. I'll direct you. Wait a minute. Slow down. What, what is it? Turn left. Ten degrees. We're coming up on a cliff or a crevice or something. Well, wait, no. It's a, it's a crater. The animal tracks lead into it. Ow! Don't stop so fast, Travis. Oh, I'm sorry, Maura. Uh, let me take a look. Here. Hmm. Hmm. The sides of the crater are too steep for the truck. We'll have to go the rest of the way on foot. Well, that won't be easy in this darkness. And we only have one pair of infrared binoculars. Well, you walk alongside of me. My turn to guide us with the binoculars. Uh, maybe we should hold hands? Mm, I thought you'd never ask. Now, careful now. Watch your step. You watch your step. How do you focus these things anyway? They're a little blurry. Are you nearsighted? Oh, well, yeah, why? Push the little button on the top right side. Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's better. What's that? I don't know. I don't see anything. Just a lot of rocks. Travis? Oh, oh no, Mora. Mora, we're surrounded by them. Don't move. Get, get out! Get out! Get away from us! Two-legged, reptilian creatures drag them helplessly into the dark abyss, deep into the underground, and into the dominion of alien worlds. Alien Worlds continues. An SET crew of four arrives on Calamar. A three-member group sets down on the planet's surface and are overrun by strange, sightless alien creatures. The fourth crew member, John Graydon, having not heard from the others for several hours, decides to solo fly the giant ship in for a landing. If a red scanner's up, good. Okay, between those hills, I'll try and land... There. Big and flat. What? what? Instruments are picking up debris. Uh-oh, it's a shuttle wreckage. Coordinates 8, 9, or 3. Oh, no, I'm coming in too fast. I'll reverse thrusters. Oh. Oh, my head. Travis, are you all right? Oh, Maura. What happened? Where are we? We've been captured by the Night Riders. I wasn't sure if you were going to come to or not. How long have I been out? A few hours, maybe. I've lost track of time down here. Down here? Down where? Where are we? Deep underground in a, in a cavern. The creatures have us sealed off in this room. We're trapped. Travis, move over here with me, please. I... I, I, I can't move, Mora. I seem to be paralyzed. God! They go! I, I, I can't breathe! Skimmer, up here! This way, John! Thank God there's buddy. Thank you, Skip. I see.
until you discovered the Calamar cool suit. Yeah, in the survival equipment hold. Right where they said it'd be. Oh. Buddy, thank goodness you're alive. Where are the others? They took out after the night creatures. Night creatures? Yeah. Oh, boy. Really weird aliens riding hooved creatures overran us on the shuttle. I told you not to land. There was something in the briefing tapes about that. Uh, said it was a, a mythical legend. Well, there's nothing mythical about it, John. They're definitely real. And Mora, Travis, uh, did you say they went after them? Yeah. Travis found a shuttle truck. <laughs> well, I hope they don't get hurt. Look, I'll go back to the Columbus and, uh, and get the other solitarian spacesuits. And then you can help me get what medical supplies we've got up there to help the rest. Okay, but hurry back. Right. Put the Earth people down, Tardos. Oh, oh, my head. My head hurts. Mora. Mora, he talked. Mora? Mora, are you there? Yes. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just trying to get my breath back. Quiet. Do not move, or we will kill you. Oh, don't worry, pal, don't worry. We're not going anywhere. I can't see a thing in here. See? Ah, yes. Earthlings can see our most bizarre ability. We've come to learn about you. You've come to destroy us. No! No, we've no intentions of harming you. I am Cregan, leader of Trollmen. We are of this world, not you. You speak English. How? Our translatory linguistic ability is of your galaxy. You are not the first of your kind to enter our world. Why have you attacked our people? You bring the great pain. Whose pain you talking about, pal? What you call light to us is pain. It is the poison of our wavelengths. But how do you perceive light if you're blind? Blindness is relative only to your spectrum of perception. We are of telepathic senses. You are disrupting our wavelength, altering our sensibilities. You must leave, Calabar. But what about sunlight, a glowstone? Enough talk. Wait, you don't understand. We represent the... You are an invasion to our universe. We are not compatible. Well, what do you plan on, on doing with us? We will display your death to your people without mercy. Then they will know our power and they will leave. Oh, come on, pal. You don't want to do that. I've got too many poker games left. Besides, the miners won't leave. They could care less about us, believe me. Silence. It is done. We ride when night time is again full. A terminus plan by the leader of the Troman promises the doom of Mora and Travis at sundown. An exhibition in death by the night riders of Calamar as darkness slowly overcasts this alien world. Alien Worlds continues. Dusk approaches on an alien planet. A public execution awaits Mora and Travis, now prisoners of the Night Riders of Calamar. Meanwhile, an ISA fleet streaks across the heavens into Calamar orbit. The radios are working again, Captain Baker, but there's no response from the planet's surface from anyone. What about the ISA cruiser Columbus? Have you located its orbit? She's sitting on the ground, abandoned. All right, Lieutenant. Get a landing party together. Let's get down there and find out what's going on. Uh, yes, sir. 
Oh, I also have a priority mission report from ISA headquarters. Uh, seems there's been a new development at Jerdell on the glowstone tests. Let me see it. Hmm. Very interesting. Maura? Hmm? Maura, I just had a realization. About what? Glowstone. What? I'm going to reveal it to the Night Riders. I have a feeling glowstone is different from other forms of light energy. That's true. We know it's in a spectrum of super high ultraviolet energy, much higher than synthetic light. That's right. It could affect them totally different. Go ahead. It could save our skins. Mm, here they come. And here it goes. Put the glowstone away, Earth man. What? What do you mean? I said, put the glowstone away, out of exposure. It is very dangerous to us. We will die in minutes. I've got a full hand, pal. I'll put it away when you ensure me you'll listen to what we've got to say. Come on, it's your deal. All right, Earthling. As you wish, we will listen. Hey, hey, Mora. Look, the, the glowstone went out. It's no longer emitting any light. Do as he says, Travis. Put it away. Oh, all right. I wonder why it stopped glowing. It didn't, Travis. What do you mean it didn't? Hey. Hey, wait a minute. You mean... You're going blind, Travis. Oh. Whoa. Travis, what is it? Go. Go. Oh. Oh. My, my head. It, 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 it's exploding. Oh. Oh, Laura. Laura, I... I... Uh, I, I feel like I... Like I'm dying. You're not dying, Travis. I, oh, I can't, I can't stand it. The pressure in my head. Travis. No, don't, 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 don't touch me, Mora. Don't touch me. Oh, I can't believe it. I, I just had a full hand. I had the game. What happened, Mora? to glowstone, but I've never actually been witness to this. What do you mean you've heard of this? How? It is the legend of the light plague. Our glowstone is what the Trollmen use for guidance. The deposits of glowstone on Calamar in little wavelengths that is perceived by our senses. That is why we attacked your people for destroying our wavelength. But how do you know of this affecting humans? All we know is that certain ones in your world are victims of the light plague. It is a weakness in the eyes of humans that causes death. Kraken, please... You've got to help me get back to my people so that I may warn them of this. I am with the ISA. I can put a stop to all this and help your Troman as well. I have observed you, Earth Woman. You show compassion. I am also quite fascinated by your reaction to your friend's death. Yes, I will take you to your people. Can you ensure us they will not attempt an attack? If we go in peace, there will be no attack. Then, so be it. Tardos! Prepare to ride to the Earthling encampment! Captain Baker, SCT Commanders John Graydon and Buddy Griff. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to YSA Security Command, gentlemen. Thank you, Captain Baker. We've just received a special report on glowstone from the Jerdell Institute. 
I think you should be made aware of it. Oh, yeah? What did the boys in the lab come up with now? Well, it seems that since the discovery of glowstone on Calamar six weeks ago, three of the ten scientists involved with the experiments have died. From what? The glowstone? The cause of death was diagnosed as a brain hemorrhage. Just exactly how the glowstone causes this remains a mystery. We're expecting further information shortly. Then glowstone is harmful to humans? Not all humans. The other seven scientists were unaffected. Captain! Captain! They're here! The Night Riders are approaching from the southeast quadrant, sir! Let me have those glasses, Lieutenant. There are several hundred of them. Wait! In the lead formation. I, I don't believe it. One of the creatures has a woman with it. Mora? Well, let me see, Captain. Holy Jupiter, it is Mora. But where's Travis? Mora, are you all right? Yes, buddy, I'm fine. Where's Travis? He's, uh, he's dead. Travis? Dead? Oh, come on, Doc, you're putting us on. That old buzzard will live to be a hundred. I'm afraid it's true. But how? What, ha what happened to him? I'm not sure. But he had all the symptoms of a brain hemorrhage. What? Captain, we've just gotten another report from Jadell. I think you should take a look at this, Dr. Cassidy. It may answer a few questions. Well, what's in it? What's it say? The scientists that died had a vision deficiency. They were nearsighted. Glowstone emits a kind of light wave that triggers a spasm of the optic nerves and then creates an aneurysm. What's that? A ballooning of the blood vessels. They actually explode, and that's a brain hemorrhage. Oh, God. The final poker game. On Calamar. It was through Travis's death that I was able to discover a great deal about the Night Riders. The Glowstone Underground is their planetary guidance system. It's how they see. And our mining it has disrupted that? That's right. We're initiating martial law here. The planet will be closed off to all incoming personnel, probably open only to scientific studies, provided we can reach an accord with the aliens here. That won't be a problem, now. The ISA has issued a search and seizure of all glowstone in the star system. Until we better understand its effect on people with eye deficiencies, it'll have to remain on Calamar. To the better for the Night Riders, too. Well, I guess there's one thing to be thankful for out of all this. What's that, buddy? Well, as SET members, we all have 20-20 vision. As the SET prepares to disembark Calamar, a galaxy has been spared an outbreak of the Light Plague. The dangers of Glowstone have now become true and apparent. As the search continues for new energy sources in the universe, man will reflect on this time and place as an offering to understanding on the threshold of the unknown. Boy, it looks as though you are uh, cleaned out. Not quite. I got a real rare gem here. It's worth 50000 yeah. What's it called? Glowstone. Let me see that. Hmm. Just let me put my glasses on and have a better look. Oh, lovely. Lovely. And it glows, too. Yes. Night Riders of Calamar was written by Dudley Brown and Lee Hansen and starred Linda Gary, Chuck Olson, Bruce Miller, Phil Diskin, and Corey Burton with special guest Peter Leeds. Associate producer Jeff Allen. Music director Tom Rounds. Our engineer was Stu Jacobs. Assistant to the producer Laurie Tyler. Technical consultant Peter Skye. Alien Worlds was created, produced, and directed by Lee Hansen and is distributed by Watermark Incorporated. And so, until next time, this is Roger Dressler inviting you to join us for another journey into Alien Worlds. <laughs>